to Hollywood. That's gooey, bally, hooly, Hollywood. Where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just a good looking pan. We have a cast of colourful characters who work in front of and behind the camera to make a movie. A movie that has the power to transport us into the future or show us life as it might once have been. Hollywood knows how to emotionally connect with an audience. This is what speakers have to do. And a gentleman in the fourth row puts his hand up and said, you're quoting my competitor, why aren't you quoting me? <laughs> to which, of course, I said, well, who the heck are you? And that's when I met and started becoming friendly with Michael Haig, who calls the opening of a movie the seduction scene. His question is, in the James Bond movies, they were masterful at creating villains, the, the awesome, powerful characters James Bond was up against. How can you incorporate those principles into your speech? Well, that character is what I term when I talk about screenwriting as a nemesis. It could be a villain, it could be an enemy, but it could be an opponent if you take a movie like Karate Kid or, or Rocky or something like that. If you're going to have that kind of character, the number one thing you must remember is your goal is to elicit emotion and emotion grows out of conflict. You always want your story to be a David and Goliath story. This is the Goliath. And so you want to always make the villain of the piece or the, or, or the what, I don't know what arena you're giving your speech in. If it's, I don't know if you can make a CEO a villain, probably not in the company you're working, you're giving the speech to, if but it's whoever the it is. You yeah, okay, exactly. But whoever that character is, real or fictional, they must be much more powerful than the hero of your story. That's the, yeah, oh, always. Always your hero must be the underdog. It must seem impossible that they're going to be able to uh, accomplish this goal. If it doesn't seem impossible, your story isn't emotional enough because it doesn't have enough conflict.